Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on in your love life, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys? Please remember, only take things as, as you need. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I, I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what our spirit guides wants to show you guys, okay? All right. What's the current energy for my Virgo spirit? Nine of Wands. A lot of you guys, you, you're the wounded warrior. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, you have a lot of options, a lot of choices. You have a lot of, there's a lot of stagnation in making a decision. I feel like right now, present moment, there's a lot of you guys, you don't feel confident in making a decision when it comes to movement in your love life. That's a, that's pretty much an overall energy here. Like for a lot of you guys, you're not, I don't feel, I'm not getting whereas you feel comfortable in making certain movements, whether you stay, whether you go, whether you do this or whether you do that. There's an energy here of a lot of you guys you've experienced, you have experience when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships. You have more negatives than you have positives. You have more negatives than you have positive. I'm talking about like relatively recently. Relatively recently, you have more negatives than you have positives. Show me spirit. What's the current challenge? What's the current challenge? The Empress getting the love and the respect that yeah ace of cups look at that somebody seeing your worth your current challenge right now present moment we have the empress taurus libra energy ace of cups this is telling me like finding someone who appreciates you that's your current challenge right now present moment look at that and the ace of wands oh sweet sweetness sweetness look at this look at this with the star wow <laughs> that's some big energy like right now present moment your current challenge is you're the empress whether you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine you're a divine unity no matter what this is someone seeing your value someone loving you respecting you and seeing your worth the star someone believing in your wishes your dreams and your desires someone believing in you that's you guys' current challenge. There's no reason why you should have all three aces. <laughs> you have the ace of cups, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. Getting that, getting this is your current challenge right now, present moment, the star. Getting your wishes, your dreams, your desires, getting your needs met. That's a big energy as I saw 333 three, three on the clock. Getting your needs met. Finding someone who respects you, who knows your worth, who knows your value. For a lot of you guys, you're the empress, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. And I'm overemphasizing this because you got the empress, you got the ace of cups, talks about new love, new emotions. Ace of wands talks about creativity, talks about a new spark, talks about passion. Ace of pentacles, guys, y'all have challenges in your love life. You have challenges in your creativity. You have challenges within yourself. You have challenges within your work, your career. You have challenges within your money right now, present moment. Your dreams, your wishes, your desires, like being truly fulfilled, getting your needs met is your current challenge. That's a big, that's a big, big energy. You see all these cards. That's a big, big energy. Yeah, big energy. Show me spirit. Show me past energy. What's influenced this for my Virgos in the past spirit? Two of swords. A lot of indecision. For a lot of you guys, you kind of went back and forth. Look, three of wands. There's a lot of waiting energy. 
for a lot of you guys waiting for your ships to come in for a lot of you guys waiting for someone to choose you to pick you to decide it's you for a lot of you guys there's an energy here you 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 had opportunities but you were waiting on something else to come to fruition like you you put your life on pause you put your forward movement you 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 passed over certain blessings certain opportunities because you were in a waiting posture you're absolutely waiting with this three of wands waiting on communication waiting on action from other people from other people i feel like right now present moment a lot of you guys you've been spiritually awakened you've been awakened to your indecisions to your lack of forward movement to your lackluster energy to your like there's an energy here of you've been awakened to the fact the role it's not even about a fact it's about the role that you played in your own challenges your own conflict for a lot of you guys is why because you were at crossroads a lot of you guys you were faced with a decision and there was a pause there was a hesitation and still, right now, present moment, you're in this posture of waiting for your ships to come in. Why you're waiting for your ships to come in? Because you were at crossroads, because you went back and forth. For some of you guys, it's because you were very standoffish and very guarded. You weren't open to your opportunities that was handed to you. You weren't open to the love that was being offered to you. There's a big energy. There's a big, big, big energy. Yeah. Give me near future, spirit. Give me near future energy for my Virgos. The world. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. That tells me this is about to end. Look at that. Success and victory. Recognition. You see how things are coming full circle? You see how you're manifesting a whole new life, a whole new start, a fresh start, a new beginning? Because we go from the world to the fool. This is you closing the chapter. This is you finally closing things out. This is you finally saying enough is enough. This is you finally knowing that, okay, now it's time for me to move forward. This talks about forward movement. This talks about closing the book on things that it's done. You're done. You've reached the end of the road. This talks about manifesting new. A lot of you guys right now, present moment in your near future. Ooh, look at this. Gosh. <laughs> y'all know I'm y'all, y'all with me. That's why I'm doing this like this for you guys. And like spirit is so like so nice. Spirit is just so nice. Look at that six of wands, that success, that's victory. That's you getting recognition, the sun, that's happiness, that's healing, that's enlightenment, justice. By your choices, you're going to get justice. The lovers, you will have a choice. You will have choices. Things that's going to fulfill you. Things that's going to fulfill you. That's a big energy. That's definitely, definitely a big energy. Yeah, that's where you're going. That's what's in you guys' near future. That's in, your, in you guys' near future. Show me hopes and fears for my Virgo spirit. What's in my Virgo's hopes and fears? Seven of Pentacles. So it's about wasting your time. Oh, yeah, Five of Pentacles. Second time I'm seeing this Five of Pentacles. So there is an energy here of am I going to be wasting my time? Am I going to be left out in the cold? Am I going to experience a loss? Yeah, there's a, there's a big energy. Look at the stress. Look at this. Here you go. Here you go. You see, spirit showed you. Spirit just showed you where you're going. Spirit showed you these challenges that you're facing right now, present moment. Some of you guys, you may decide you want to rewind back to go back to those challenges because they were pretty. They were pretty interesting. Five of Pentacles talks about a loss. Seven of Cups talks about decisions, decisions, decisions. Ten of Wands. Is this your problem? Is this not your problem? Four of Swords. What are you gonna do? Like that's in your hopes and fears. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's a stress here. Am I going to invest? What is this going to cost me? Do I want to work on something? What is it going to cost me? What decision do I make? What is this going to cost me? 
or do I need to really and truly like a lot of you guys right now present moment you are going round and round in your head I feel like I picked this up this morning and you guys energy like you're going round and round in your head because you're hoping for the best but you're fearing the, the worst and this is thought manifestations you need to think more positive no negative thinking this is about no negative thinking seven of pentacles okay it's gonna take hard work five of pentacles i may lose certain things but whatever i lose it is meant to be lost it is meant to be lost seven of cups make a decision and run with it because you saw in the past all of that indecision all of that back and forth energy cost you in the end ten of wands is it your problem is it not your problem this is more so for I'm getting an energy of some of you guys needing to be a little bit selfish for sorts. Focus on your healing and think things through. Think things things through. Because for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of fearing loss, fearing wasting your time, fearing making a bad decision, fearing taking on burdens that's not meant for you, fearing having to recover from this all over again. For a lot of you guys, you're hoping that if you invest your time and energy, it's gonna work out. You're hoping that you're only gonna lose what's what's not meant to be in your life. You're hoping that you're gonna be blessed with many, 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 many gifts. You're hoping that you're gonna be able to walk away if it doesn't work itself out. And you're hoping to rest and to heal. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy. But a lot of you guys, this is you kind of going back and forth in your head. Yeah, show me spirit. Show me what's going on. What's influencing this in my Virgo's outside environment? What's influencing this in my Virgo's outside environment? Wow, a whole bunch came out there. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Sun. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands again. Okay. So a lot of you guys right now, present moment in your outside environment, you feel like there's a lot of competition there is a lot of gossiping going on. There's a lot of com competition going on. There's a lot right now, present moment of you guys needing to heal from bad relationships, challenges, fake friends. There's a big energy here of you guys needing to heal from this. Page of Pentacles, I feel like right now, present moment, the offers that you're getting, the opportunities that you're getting, they don't seem grand. They don't seem massive. They don't seem like something to talk about. But don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. With the Nine of Wands here, I feel like a lot of you guys, you've been through a lot, but this is Spirit wanting you guys to not give up. This is spirit wanting you guys to not give up. I see that you've been wounded. For some of you guys, you've been wounded by friends. You've been wounded by lovers. You've been wounded, whereas you've been slept on over opportunities. There's a big energy here. There's definitely, definitely a big energy here. You have a lot of, you, are, you have a lot of blessings coming in. I do see the toll, the outside environment that has taken on you guys. I do see certain limitings. I do see certain things that limit you, that, that cause obstacles, cause blockages. I feel like there's an energy here of a lot of you guys, you need more. You need something of substance. You need something that's going to make a difference. Instead of needing a dollar, you need $20. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need something like that. You need something on a massive, on a grandier level. I do see that as well. So I see for a lot of you guys, it's like you're trying to make things work right now, present moment. I feel like this is supposed to be like a, truly a love reading, but I feel like spirit is taking it into a whole nother direction, a whole nother direction. Yeah. I do see offers coming in for you guys. I see offers of financial wealth. I see offers of opportunities. I see offers of material objects coming in for you guys i also see an offer of love coming in for you guys emotions for some of you guys this could be a friendship that's coming in for you as well that's in your outside environment that's what's coming in for some of you guys you have an old friend you have an old flame or you have an old opportunity that's going to be resurfacing for you as well 
something that you were at once in competition for like if you were in at once in competition with a friend or in competition to get a friend's attention that friend's going to be coming back if you were once in a competition for a job or a position or however this goes if you've been slept on that opportunity is going to come back if you were in competition with someone here someone's going to be extremely sorry because they did not choose you when they should have that's definitely 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 a big energy big big energy all right my loves let's see what's the potential outcome what's the potential outcome for my virgos we have the sun leo energy eight of swords eight of wands coming out of this healing a lot of you guys we have the sun we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, there's going to be swift action that's about to happen. There's going to be freedom. There's going to be you guys working. Like right now, present moment, there's an energy here of working on coming out of a lacking posture. You're working on that. Working on that. For a lot of you guys, there's a need to stop waiting. There's a need for you guys to stop waiting. What are you waiting on? You will know what you're in this posture of waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. For some of you guys, you there's a need to heal. There's a lot of need to heal. Heal from things that you know that exist. Because this is not something made up. There are some things that's in your life right now, present moment, that really and truly has taken a toll on you. And you need to heal. For some of you guys, you need to stop waiting on someone to come back when it's done. When it's done. C'est fini. It's done. Focus on your Ten of Cups, your happiness, your happiness. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to bring that focus back into yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys need to bring the focus back into yourself. Focus on keeping balance within your life. Focus on the friendships that you have. Focus on the love that you have, the love that you're being offered. Focus on some of you guys you're going to be dating. I still see challenges. I do. I still see challenges. But look at that. We have that Ace of Cups again. Four of, yeah, you're going to be, you guys are going to be kind of all in your head, of course. There's a big energy of you guys being all in your head. But the opportunities are there. The opportunities are persist, pre presenting themselves. This is about you guys not, it's, there's, there's an energy here of waiting there's an energy here of waiting yeah all right my loves let's see let's see what you guys are truly waiting on show me show me spirit show me what it is that my virgos are waiting on so your soulmate you are my soulmate. I dream a dream come true. That's what you're waiting on. You're waiting on your soulmate. You're waiting on the right person. It says not for you. Let's not continue this madness. It's best if we just moved on. For some of you guys right now, present moment, you're dealing with some right now, somebody right now. You absolutely know this person is not right for you. You absolutely know that this person is not right for you. And like this is a this is madness. You're waiting on your on your soulmate. You're waiting on your soulmate. Commitment. Look at that. Let's take it to the next level because nobody else matters. See that? A lot of you guys, you're waiting on commitment. Spirit is not playing. It says target. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. So for some of you guys, there's still somebody here in your energy, somebody from your past, or somebody that you're still playing with. That you intuitively know that you're going to be waiting. You intuitively know that they're not going to offer you what you want. But you're waiting. This is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for your soulmate. You're waiting for commitment. We ask spirit exactly what you're waiting for. And this is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for your true soulmate. You're waiting for commitment. And there are opportunities but don't let those opportunities pass you by because you're still waiting or because you're overthinking, overanalyzing, being very indecisive. 
All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. Until next time, bye guys.